And in this next one, we got Chris Weidman trying to continue his comeback, looking to make it two wins in a row against Eric Anders. Both these guys, man, I mean, they haven't won two fights in a row in years. I mean, for Chris Weidman, you have to go all the way back to when he was undefeated to see him have a winning streak. Since the first loss of his career, he's never been able to string two fights in a row together. He did get that victory over Bruno Silva in his last outing. And for Eric Anders, I think it's been since like 2018 or something since he's won two fights in a row. Been a very inconsistent fighter. And Anders has been fighting way lesser competition. So his excuse is not really as there for Weidman where you could say he's been fighting absolute monsters. But um, obviously with Weidman, we all know what it is at this point. Legend, former champ, the guy that dethroned Anderson Silva. But what five six knockouts later a broken leg later and we have a really diminished version of Chris Weidman having said that he still was able to go out there look pretty decent against Bruno Silva and even though the fight ended with him getting an eye poke knockout it he was on his way to victory in that one regardless um Eric Anders a guy that came into the UFC kind of more of a striker that was a knockout artist and now more recently in his career, he's turned into more of a wrestler, grappler, a guy that likes to mix it up and dirty box and, you know, be really uh, like in the clinch a lot during his fights. So we'll see if that's advantageous for him. I tend to believe it isn't. Um, Chris Weidman, Southpaw, his footwork and movement is still not terrible. I mean, I still think if these guys had a kickboxing match, I, I would favor Chris Weidman. I mean, Anders is a big strong guy maybe obviously he could land something big and knock him out but Weidman is faster he moves better on the feet he's gonna be longer in terms of the reach he has better boxing to me um puts the combos together a little bit more and Anders really slow I mean I think Anders really definitely relies more on having to grab you to find his openings with like short uppercuts. He's good at bringing knees up the middle. And then he's gotten a lot better with his wrestling lately and he can control you. But with Chris Weidman, I mean, I feel like Weidman is going to win that clinch grappling battle. He'll be able to out wrestle Eric against the cage, maybe even take Eric down. And I feel like he's going to be better in the stand up. Cardio wise, Weidman always comes in great shape. Anders, I could see him slowing down. And I just don't know how invested Anders is, man. I mean, I know the guy went to fight ready for a period in his career, and that's when I think he was looking good. Um, and now he's gone back home. He has a family. You could see him doing trips in the middle of this training camp where he went to Spain and things like that. And I just think that maybe Weidman is a a little bit more invested in, in keeping going his career a little longer. Um, Anders, you know, he, he kind of just creeped by uh, Jamie Pickett, who was retiring in his last fight. So that wasn't a good look for me. And uh, so I'm going to go with Weidman in this one, man. I think Chris Weidman can get this job done and probably win a decision in this fight.